All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the GSL Code A. This is the round of 32, a.k.a. round two of the Code A tournament. Remember, the winners today move on to the third round, where there will be one shot away, or I guess one more spot away from getting into the Code S qualification, which is really the entire goal of Code A, is to try and get into Code S, where the big money and big fame is. And we are back. We're going to have an interesting match here to come up with. We just saw OGS Finn slaughter Polt, picked him apart like a puzzle and threw the pieces all over the place, even lost some so he can't be put back together again. And I think we're going to be seeing an even worse slaughter coming up next, actually, because it's going to be Bomber versus JYP. You think? And JYP has not beaten a Terran in, like, years. So he is not looking too strong right now, of course. I've been wrong before, I've made such statements before, and have been proven wrong, so we're going to find out. But first, let's take a look at some of the replays from that last game on Tall Dream. That was one of the initial pushes at the 10-minute mark, and we have... Well, Finn, with a stellar attack, I really, really like this guy. I admit it once again, I haven't been following Brutal War all that close. I've watched a lot of streams of, uh, uh, sorry, of Tasteless when he casted the GSL, but still, I haven't followed the scene and didn't know for GG before we casted him the last time, last week, or the week before. I actually don't know yet, but, well, that guy is really impressive. Yeah, well, and I want to give him a little bit of credit, too. You know, I have talked in the past about how uh, the level of mechanical ability that the top Brood War pros had is so strong. And here's that part where P Pult actually looked in a commanding position when he, s when he took that out. But then the Banshees following up really did a lot of damage. Anyway, I do want to give 4GG, a.k.a. Finn, some credit, though, because there have been other Brood War pros that have switched to StarCraft 2 and haven't done very well and haven't been able to adapt their style to StarCraft 2 very well. So... Give it, you know, you got to give a hand to, to Finn that he's actually been playing really, really well. There's the draw play that you mentioned. And yeah, when he didn't really, couldn't really decide where to drop when he uh, dropped right into yeah, the. This is, look, he's like, look I'm going to drop on the tank. No, actually, I'm going to drop where the SCVs can buffer for the tank. Bit of a silly spot there. May not have been paying attention to it. And he couldn't really come back into that game. I mean, at that point of time, Finn lost a lot of SCVs, but he was so far ahead that he could easily compensate for that. And all the time, those Banshees with Cloak that forced Paul to use his energy for scans, and he wasn't able to take too many of them down. Nope. So Finn did a number on Polt and was able to take that series very convincingly. Polt played... Relatively well, but just couldn't stand up to the strats that Finn was throwing against him. So, yeah, I'm really curious to see. You know, today I said I was curious to see what Finn could bust out. I'm even more curious now to see what he's going to be up to uh, next week in the round of 24, the third round, uh, which is going to get him into the qualification for Code S if he manages to get there. Uh, but anyway, but we're going to have Bomber versus JYP is going to be next. And... It's going to be an interesting series. Bomber um, used to be one of the top p players around. And lately he's been showing some signs of weakness. So this is again, like I mentioned at the beginning of the cast, uh, something I'm curious to see what kind of game he brings to the table here. There he is, Startail of Bomber. Looks a little bit stressed. I went over and I talked to Bomber at the break and I told him that I, I thought he was going to win. And the Starfield coach was there and he said, oh, you said, you think, you think JYP is going to lose? And I said, yeah. And he said, yeah, JYP thinks that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, well. So JYP is not <laughs> feeling very comfortable right now, not feeling very confident. And even if, you know, he did have a chance... With uh, all that banter going on between Korean players, that's the, the, the last thing that I would have expected is one of them to well, say. Well, no, I mean, players, when they're going up against someone with a reputation like Bombers, it's, you know, they get legitimately scared, especially because JYP knows that his best matchup is everything but versus Terran. And uh, there you can see he actually did uh, this season beat Sase in the first round. Yeah, remember those games. Advance. Those were pretty close games. Those were fun games to watch. 
Yeah, and he left his team recently. He left TSL. Oh yeah, that's the other thing I was going to mention. Uh, you're right, he, he just left TS TSL, so that's why he doesn't have a team right now. Actually, a few players just left TSL. Kayla, Clyde and JYP and Clyde now join Slayer. Yep, Clyde just joined Slayers. Uh, I think he's about to play on the other stream, actually, Clyde. So if you want to watch some Clyde, you can switch over to that as well. Or you can bring it up on your other screen. First map's going to be Daybreak, then Dual Sight, and then Calm Before the Storm. And I like that map, actually, Calm Before the Storm. I hope we get to a map three somehow. JYP is a pretty handsome fella, isn't he? I, I guess so. He doesn't... He looks... Does he look smart to you? Is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. He actually looks handsome. Like in the British sense? Br smart is British slang for like looking looking good. Looking yeah, handsome. I mean, no more about that guy. is a good looking guy. <laughs> sorry. Okay. I didn't want to overdo it with it. I just wanted to mention it. Okay. I'm, I'm very sorry for just butting in, but uh, sometimes I just have weird thoughts in my head no, and that's, they that's just want to get out. Right. So I'm, yeah, I shouldn't have. Sorry. That's I all right. apologize. You don't have to apologize because game one is about to begin. We're going to find out right now what's going to happen. Sony Ericsson, I forgot to mention you last time. You rock as well, as does Razor and G-Skill. As does this player down here in the bottom left-hand corner of the map. Statel Fava! <laughs> Fighting. Yeah, the Terran player, we have him in the bottom left, and his opponent this time is a Protoss player. And he's starting at the top right of Daybreak. It is none other than... JYP without JYP. a team right now. He left TSL. And Moltrap was perfectly right when he mentioned that JYP is horrible in Parodos vs. Terran. Mm -hmm. yeah. He played 19 games against Terran and he lost 13 of them. So he yep. has a 32% win ratio. And guess how many of his last 10 games versus Terran he's won? Well, if you didn't have a response, then you're correct. <laughs> he won zero of them. Actually, he won 2-0 against Rain and GSTL, but that's oh, okay. been a while. Yeah, that was that was a while ago. Um, yeah, I, I mean, sorry to just keep harping on JYP's chances here, but he is really going to have a bit of a struggle on his hands here. Um, he's what? very... Now, to, to his credit... He's got a very good record against Protoss, and versus Zerg, he's actually won nine of his last ten games. So this is just his weakness, is all. On the other hand, we have Bomb, by the way. Right now, we have his base on the screen as well, and he has a 68% win ratio. Oh, is it, oh, is it SCV? Oh, barely keeps it alive. One more hit left. Yeah. Sorry about that. Nope. <laughs> I'm just, no problem. That SCV's a friend of mine, man. I got freaked out. Actually, six hit points. actually, SCV has six hit points. He must have repaired it for one second. Yeah, yeah, I thought about that as well. Uh, we looked on the screen and was like, what, six hit points? This is kind of weird. <laughs> um, yeah, but what, was I, what I was about to say, Bomber has a 68% win ratio against Protoss, and he won 28 of 41 games. Yeah. Although he didn't all too well against Protoss lately. He, wa he yeah. lost his two games in the arena of Legends against Protoss. He lost against Sage and against Oz. Yeah. And yeah. Well, who doesn't lose against Oz right now? Well, I guess Shock G would be the answer to that question. But <laughs> actually, JYP, uh, that's the reason why he's in Code A, is he lost to Oz in Code A last season, and Oz was one of his losses in the up and down matches as well. Um, but we do have JYP coming in. Scouting that expansion, very important. Luckily, that Marine was attacking the neutral depots, the probe took no damage. I'm really curious to see how JYP oh. is doing. I remember a lot of a lot of players that had a really really weak matchup, and at some point they started to That's go true. at it like crazy to train that matchup. And for a lot of them, true. it became their best matchup in the end. So if JYP, since the last time he faced the Terran player, actually tried to improve on that, we might see him giving a bomber a run for his money. No, that's actually a good point. I remember I remember casting uh, some games with Huck, and Huck used to be horrible in Protoss vs. Protoss. He never, he, he, he had something like a 35% win rate in PvP or something like that. And uh, then one day, it just like, some, a light bulb went off his, in his head and he started beating everyone in PvP. You know, he beat MC in the Home Story Cup, he beat MC here, just was, just got really good at PvP. And, and that happens a lot, you're right. Sometimes people are just like, you know what, 
I just need to stop ignoring this matchup and just really work on it, and they can really improve it. Has JYP done that? We're going to find out today, I guess. Yeah, it's basically the same European scene. We had, for example, Mana. He was horrible against Zerg. He was just the worst PvZ player out there. He lost against every random Zerg thrown at him. It was quite funny. He he was <coughs> laughing about it as well. He was like, yeah, stand no chance that guy is Zerg, even if he's bronze, I don't care. But he got really good at PvZ, and at some point it was his best matchup. He was wow. defeating so many European Zerg players. Sorry, hold that thought a second, because JYP just put down a third... Nexus. He has responded to the fast expansion of Bomber by double expanding himself. This Taking is, a risk? I yeah, like this it. is really gutsy. Yeah, I like that. I actually really like that. And especially if you know that you are uh, not all that confident in a matchup and if you're facing an opponent like Bomber, this might be yeah. your chance to get into that game, to get an advantage over your opponent. So I like that move by the Protoss player and now Bomber scouting JYP. And yep. there are a lot of gateways. Seven gateways being warped in for JYP right now. Whoa. Yep, for a grand total of eight gateways is what he's going to have. And Bomber, it's interesting, he sees that. Oh, but he saw the extra expansion as well. Bomber has an SCV down there. He spotted the extra expansion. So he knows exactly what's going on now. And he's answering with another base himself, getting yeah. that third command center. Very yeah. smart. 38 SCVs against 41 probes right now. And those eight warp gates are finished. Very, very smart by Bomber. And the thing is, is if he hadn't scouted that extra expansion, he'd be like, oh crap, eight warp gates? I'm going to get rushed right now. I need bunkers. And so getting that extra command center is something that would be really risky if he didn't know about the third base and oh wow proxy pylon over here he's getting ready for an attack regardless and he's already moving a lot of sentries over to that but, position oh crap but bombers moving out also to take out the third base bombers army is completely out of position we may see a base trade erupt in about a minute here maybe even less Stim is done as this concussive shell, and there is the Protoss player advancing, taking down that third base, taking down that STV, and Bomber really needs to cancel that one. Oh wow, this is going to be so close. Bomber is attacking the third of JYP right now. That is going to go down very quickly. He should probably ignore the Nexus and go for the heart, though, because while he is killing that third Nexus, JYP is all up in his main. And JYP now attacking all those, all those SCVs. Beautiful force field, look at that. Really well done and a very good position for JYP oh. right now. Killing all those workers at the same time. Bomber is attacking the second base of JYP. Will he be able to warp in enough units to hold that push up? Look at those force fields. Wow, and here's the thing. JYP was forced to warp in at his main, so he didn't warp in any units to support the sentries. So. Once he lost those force fields, JYP's army gets so Oh, and he lets in the main army of Bomber! Oh. He doesn't force field the ramp! Bomber gets up the ramp and is now killing everything. If he takes out just a single pylon, he will unpower half those warp gates. Oh my god, if JYP is able to hold that off, he already killed 40, 40 workers. He's lost 20 himself, but this is really horrible situation for him to be in. And that pilot, that Artosis pilot is getting killed. Look at that. Everything's out. Oh god. Two warp gates operational oh now, out of eight. <laughs> Kalthor's like holding his, holding his mouth with his hand here because he's so... Oh. Shock at that turn of events, and indeed, that is going to spell the end for JYP. Bomber took heavy, heavy losses, but he has come out of this way ahead of JYP. JYP is at, well, actually, they both have 20 harvesters, so not too bad, but Bomber's got double mules. I so. can't believe that he missed those force fields. Yeah, I really bad. don't believe it, and I don't believe that Pylon either. And How can you power nine buildings with one pylon? <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, wow. yeah, Bomber did polish off that third Nexus, by the way. He didn't get the expansion Nexus, though, so JYP can produce double probes right now, which he is doing. He's chrono boosting out probes. Actually, no, he's not chrono boosting out probes. He's just building up chrono boost energy right now. But uh, there's a bit of a drop going into the back of his base, and if he loses more probes, he's going to be totally crippled. That is uh, too, too many Vex, and he's trying to target down that Nexus. 
Where is the army? Where is the army of JYP? He needs to defend against that. The Nexus is going to die. And the Nexus dies. Oh, and God. Uh, kind of a wimpy little force field there. Keeps the Zealots from attacking. Oh. And uh, Bomber's just going to have his fun in JYP's base then because he doesn't have anything that can really deal with that. He's it's keeps running away. Three sentries and Zealots. Yep. Pretty much. Oh, <laughs> look at him. Oh, wow. Look at him. That guy's having fun right now. JYP. Oh, he was so close to get a lead in this game, and now GG. he's losing. Has to type GG. I really feel sorry for him. That was ah, so close. That force field at the ramp, he really <laughs> needed that one. Man. Wow. And well, Bomber. You know, uh, a lot of people are thinking that some of the reason why people have been leaving the TSL team is because they have a stricter practice schedule than a lot of other teams do. That's a, that's a reputation. I don't actually know, so don't don't go posting this on the forums like it's the gospel or anything, but it's a rumor I've heard. And uh, my point is that I think JYP needs to practice a little bit more instead of leaving his team because that was a little bit sloppy. Um, that one force field and the pylon. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> I mean, he, he killed so many SCVs. He killed 40 SCVs. He was in a commanding position. He had a lot of good force field where he just turtled in his units, was able to kill the SCVs surrounding it. At the same time, obviously, he had to deal with that attack. And he completely misplaced that force field. The Tyrant army was running into his main base and that one pylon. Uh, come on. Yeah, I still think Bomber would have been in um, a pretty good position regardless. Uh, even if JYP had kept him out of his base, he would have been able to contain him and kill that natural expansion and still been two bases to one. But uh, yeah, that was just really, really bad. Lost that, that force field. And then he lost his whole army, which he had in his main. Couldn't warp in any more units to that one pylon powering six of his warp gates. Yep, so JYP just getting outplayed there. And the thing is, it's not only about losing that game. You mentioned that he's really bad at... Well, he has a really bad record. He's not necessarily really bad, but he has a bad record against uh, Terran. And that game won't help his confidence at all. So, you mentioned before, he himself no, look at him. he's going to lose. <laughs> he's just so stressed out right now. Wearing the Blizzard shirt. He doesn't want to wear the team shirt right now. He doesn't have a team. But uh, he's going to have another chance. This is a best of three, and so he can still win the next two games and come back. Theoretically, we're going to find out on dual site if Bomber can close out the series or if JYP can fight his way back in here at the GSL coding. And Bomber, just with that merciless look in his eyes. That's right.